Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time finding one of my videos, welcome. I post new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Today is going to be like an Ikea haul. I'm going to show you what I got. I got some like cute like styling pieces, like just like little simple ones and also some bigger pieces. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you go do that right now. That was a little like, like weirdly lined up. It is what it is. That's how I do things around here. Um, so let's just get started and I'm going to show you guys what I all got. So the first thing is actually, you can see it right back here, is this cute little shelf. I will zoom you guys in and we'll go take a look at it. But it was $39. Are you kidding me? That's so cheap and it's so cute because like, I don't know if you can see it, but you can like flip it so that the back piece, like right above my finger here, you can have that where it's facing down or up either way. And it's just like super cute both ways. I decided to make it go up because I thought it gave it a little bit more of a like modern twist but let's go back and I will show you guys what it looks like up close okay so up close you can see that it is like that like I don't know the wood's just a nice wood it like gives a nice like brings in some like natural tones into the room which I love it's kind of what I'm going for in my makeup room right now is just kind of bringing in some of those like more natural like greens and like wooden and like just like natural elements into the space but it is really cute and right now I just have these pieces sitting on top of it, but I'm going to change that up because that's just, I always am changing things up. So this is kind of like my first like go to how I put it together. So let's go see my second item that we got. Okay. And that shelf is called the Skotsta. Skotsta? Skotsta. I will, I'm going to link everything that I got like down below. So if you want to actually go see it like on their website, you can. So just go to, down to the description section little description bar and I'll have them all there in order so this is the Skotska 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 okay next up we have I got two of these wooden frames and they are like a shadow box kind of frame I got them because here's the other one because they were two dollars and 79 cents so I was like I'm gonna get these but I thought these would be really cute I haven't yet done anything with them and I'm not quite sure how I'm going to style them but I thought they'd be cute to because the backs come off here I'll kind of show you the backs come off and then it's like all open inside so you can like put anything in it almost like a shadow box but what I was thinking I have two options for this one I was thinking I could put like rocks or like something in it like some more natural elements to bring into this room otherwise I thought I could maybe like put like a plant of some sort in there maybe an air plant could you put that in a frame I don't know I've never gotten an air plant but they seem really cool I don't know I think I'll probably go with like rocks and like maybe do like coordinating ones or like sand and like put them next to each other I'm not sure I'm sure I'll show you guys whenever I decide what I'm going to do with those I'll show you what I I'll show you but those are only two dollars and 79 cents and the frames are called the ribba r-i-b-b-a so that'll be linked below too um next up we have this cute little plant um I am a sucker for plants. This one is called the, okay, let me take that take off. This is called the F-E-J-K-A, Fejka, Fejka, Fejka. Um, and it was $4.99. I think it's cute as is in the little black pot. But going hand in hand with that, I got this cute little guy. And this is the foreign, foreign, 99 cents. I'll link that below too. Um, but I got that to put this little guy into. So I will insert some clips to show you guys where I'm going to place this. Um, I think it's cute. It's like on a coffee table. It's really small. You can see it's like a little bigger than my hand. Um, I wish I would have gotten a like more wicker style pot, which I probably will at some point transfer it to something like that. And by transfer, I mean like pick it up and stick it in the other one. But, um, and then I can use this little white 99 cent pot for something else so super cute staple I mean everybody needs you just need some like fake plants I kill them all so fake plants are a win in my book oh I forgot to tell you guys too I am going to at the end of this I'm gonna give you guys just like a rundown of what my experience was like in Ikea it was my first time actually in an Ikea so I will tell you guys about that in case you maybe are curious of what it's like to shop in an Ikea so just so you know, that's coming up at the end. If you want to see that, stick around till then and I will give you my experience. Next up, I picked up two little candles. This is the first one. It is Waldoft. Um, it smells very just like homey and folly. I don't really love this jar, but it smells good. 
and both I got two candles both of them were one was $1.49 and one was $1.99 so super cheap and I just figured I'm not really all about that standing in line at Bath and Body Works right now because they can only have like two people in the store at one time so I've been picking up my candles at other places yeah it smells really good just like it's a good like I don't know homey fall scent my second candle <laughs> you may be wondering why isn't that candle in a jar and why is it on a paper towel and look really like beat up well my friends that is because I had everything sitting on our like counter when we got home and I was editing one night I was just sitting there and I kind of pushed my computer back a little bit and I knocked it off of the counter and it shattered so this one was in just like a nice clear like simple like modern looking jar it was perfect and that's when it broke I was kind of hoping this one broke it didn't but I was thinking I could stick this in like I can like re like transplant it to a different jar not sure I'm gonna do it but I wanted to show you guys first before I went ahead and did that and this was a I think it was like pineapple mango maybe it smells very fruity and good just good smell I haven't I'll let you guys know too if like they burn good you know cuz like a candle can be like smell really good when you smell it but then when you actually burn it you can't smell it so I'll keep you updated on if those are good or not okay so the next items that I got might possibly be my favorite things I've ever purchased <laughs> how cute are these little guys okay so these are the Justalia and they were $7.99 a piece um, I was gonna get one for myself because I was like this is just so cute like you can do so much with this like you can make it like I don't know like and it's wooden the like natural elements that I'm going for um but it's like you can like make it do whatever you want so like, if you wanted to like be doing like I don't know like standing like this like you could do that like whatever and I think Tate got a little jealous like it sends him like kind of like being a little jealous that I was gonna have this cute little figurine so we got two of them so that he could have one and I thought it'd be really fun to like Okay, so in the mornings, like, before I go to work, like, what if I were to, like, put them where they're, like, hugging each other, right? So, like, Tate wakes up in the morning, and I'm not home, and he, like, goes out, and he sees them hugging, and he's, like, oh, like, cute, like, she, like, made them hugging, and then I, then, I, like, so I'm, like, gone now, and then he could do something cute with them, like, so I come home, and maybe he has, like, our arms linked, and we're, like, skipping down the sidewalk, right? And so I get home, and I'm, like, oh, like, he thought we could be skipping, <laughs> I don't know is that stupid I think it's kind of cute um but right now I just have them sitting on a shelf these little like homemade shelves I made so I will show you guys what that looks like because they're kind of cute and if you want to know how to make those shelves let me know because they are the simplest things that I've ever made in my entire life so okay next up I can't pass up a good cheap dish towel so this is a four pack of dish towels and they were a dollar 49 so I actually haven't opened them up yet because I don't know why I haven't, but I haven't. So I'm gonna open them up right now. And I just love this these types of dish towels because they're just like, I don't know, they're easy. And they're like effortless looking. I feel like they give like a very light feeling. I don't really love like a heavy dish towel in the kitchen. I don't know, I think it can look kind of gross. Okay, not gross. Why did I say it look gross? That doesn't even make sense. Um, it can just look heavy. And I just want my like space to be like light, airy, just like feel like, you know so there's a couple different styles we have this really cute stripe which I'm all about stripes it kind of has like linen vibes um we have another stripe one but there's like thinner stripes and then there's this mm, oh this is kind of cute so you have that side otherwise like this side just looks like that and then the last one is this like gridded style so these are all super cute it's gonna be cute going into fall cute all year round really okay so the last like small piece that we got is this bowl I honestly don't really love it um Tate wanted to get it I think it was I actually don't have the price for this one but I think it was like it was like under five dollars so I think it's four ninety nine. but he thought it'd be perfect for our laundry room just as like a catch-all for things so that is where we will be putting this for now anyways um it's just a simple little like bowl okay so the next the last two things on our Ikea haul 
are um where i'm going to go on a field trip for so the first one is a shelf and it is called like the lac shelf and that was 59 dollars. so we will go downstairs and see that that is um we just put it in tate's office because it just works perfect down there and then the very last thing is a mirror so i will show you guys that too it's like a floor length mirror and that is called the nisadal nisadal and it was 49 dollars. so let's go on a field trip and go see those last two items okay so we are in tate's very clean office just kidding um and this is the shelf that we got for Tate's office it is i don't know it's just like gonna be perfect right now it's not styled or anything i stuck like a little plant there and a plant over there too or like whatever boxwood is that boxwood i don't know but tate just kind of threw up some of his paperwork up there right now that he has to sort through eventually we will organize that a little nicer but for now i just want to show you guys what it looked like Super cool. You can have it either that way or you can have it so it's vertically. Is that up and down? Vertically? Yeah. So we chose to do it this way because it was just like unique and different. So I love that piece. Now let's go see our mirror. Okay, so the last thing is this mirror and we loved it because it's just like a very simple um, like frame around it. It's kind of sticks out about maybe an inch there all the way around. And it's just a nice, like, simple floor length mirror. Has, like, a modern vibe to it, but it's, yeah, I don't know. It's really cute. It was only 50 bucks. Like, that's so good. Okay, so that is it for my Ikea haul. Um, I just want to give you guys kind of the rundown of what my experience was like the first time shopping in Ikea. And if you have any, like, Ikea shopping tips, let me know down below because I'm definitely a newbie and I'm obsessed. I love it. Um, the prices are just so good. And it was just fun, like, walking around. So right when you walk in, um, we went to the one in Minneapolis, you go up a like flight of stairs to like get into the showroom and we were both confused. Like I should have researched it first because we were like, I thought that you could just like start like taking stuff. So like, I saw a vase that I liked and I was going to just take it, but it was like styled for that room. So like there's like little like mock rooms set up throughout the entire showroom to kind of like show you the different pieces and then... Um, each one has a little tag on it that tells you where you can find that when you go down to the warehouse. So, um, we just like found the things that we liked and I just took pictures of them on my phone of like the tag. And then I also took a picture of the actual item because I'm a type of person that like when I go shopping, I will typically put like stuff in my cart. And then after walking around, I decide that maybe like I don't want it anymore. You know what I mean? Like I don't like necessarily, like, I don't fully commit like because it's in my cart, like, that's not me committing to it. So, like, I didn't really like the idea of, like, having to commit by taking a picture and, like, having to get that. Does that make sense? I don't know. So, I took a picture of the tag as well as the item next to it. That way, when we got down there, we could decide if we really wanted it. Um, so, that was really fun to, like, walk around up there. I There were so many, like, different rooms, like, fake rooms set up that I wanted everything in it. So, like, that was kind of fun. But then you, when you go downstairs, there is, like... It's set up like a store so like you can buy like the stuff that you want like the decorative pieces like the dish towels were there and like the frames and like the you know like candles things like that like the smaller stuff was all there and then any of the furniture pieces were once you went into like the final room which was like looked like a big like maybe like Lowe's kind of or like a like Menards where like it's just like looks like like a hardware store kind of you know what I mean like our home goods store not home goods but like a home goods store you know okay so um and so then you'd say like i look at my phone i say okay like this shelf right here is in or row a like section 37 so then you like look up you find row a and then you go to find 37 and then there's your shelf um so it's just like kind of set up like in three different steps so if you've never shopped at ikea that's what it's like and if you have any Ikea shopping tips, let me know down below. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I do post, I post two videos every single week. And I would just love to have you subscribe to my channel. Alright, thank you guys so much. Have a great day. I will talk to you later. Bye!